This week, as we open up Urban's playbook, we're going to talk about what makes an elite pass rush over the last five years here at Ohio Stadium. You essentially presided over, say, $60 million worth <laughs> might go of NFL first year. round, NFL first round pass Put rushing some respect on it, Rob. Exactly. So what makes these guys earn that type of money? Well, Rob, first of all, it's the obvious. It's size, speed, and strength. Right. When you go out and recruit an elite pass rush, so that's the first thing you look for. But then you also have to realize what they're being coached to do, and I'd like to do that right now. So, Brady, you'll be the uh, – Matt, you'll be the center. Brady will be the offensive tackle. So when Larry Johnson, one of the best defensive line coaches in college football history, the D-line coach at Ohio State, he teaches the first thing is the stance. And the stance is the most important thing, Brady, about his stance is the ability to get out of a stance. So, for example, you'll see different guys in different stances. It doesn't matter. An athlete has to get out of his stance. He likes to put the left inside hand down so he gets a good jump off the ball. The next thing is going to be focus and get off. Right. Get off is all on the ball. His focus or laser lights are on the football, inside hand down. And I'm watching as the center starts to squeeze the ball, that's when I'm jumping off. Yeah. Okay, so first is stance, seconds get off. Inside hand down, as the ball moves, it's a four-step sprint, me against the offensive tackle. So as I'm down here, ball moves, set go one, two, three, four. On the fourth step, what they teach at Ohio State, next is all off the reaction of the offensive tackle. Okay, first thing, if I beat the offensive tackle, so I beat him in a race, I'm by him. Now it's right arm, right leg, and I'm going to throw my hip in a 90-degree angle to the drop point right. of the quarterback. Remember, nothing else matters other yeah. than the launch point of the quarterback. As I come around, 90-degree angle, open hips and go. Matt, that's the difference between a $30 million athlete and a free agent. Yeah, when you see these outside pass rushers, especially a Chase Young, as a quarterback, once we get to that launch point, we're taught to step up in the pocket. But when you have a guy like Chase Young who can get that four steps, the body link, and then the 90-degree angle to the quarterback and takes essentially away the pocket, makes it really difficult for remember, us. Remember, that's a big man doing yeah, that. Absolutely. That's a 265 mm -hmm. man. like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, second thing now. Now, the guy gets a good set on me. Set, go, boom, he gets a good set, but I have low hands. When they see low hands, they're going to take the inside hand, and it's a bull rush. You're going to hammer it right above them. They call it a big arm. Above the sternum, take the outside hand, and I'm going to drop him in the lap of the quarterback. That's where your power comes into it. That's a power <laughs> rush. And you're going to see our video in a minute. Much, coach. <laughs> the video you watch here in a second is it's against Penn State in overtime. It's not an offensive tackle. It's a tailback, Reg. I would say and that's, that's Joey a, Bosa. I would say that's a physical mismatch right there. You, you can't, can't get um, the running back. I don't know who came up with this scheme, but we got to go back to the drawing board. He's going to cut him, Reg. Just cut him down, man. Okay, next look is the offensive tackle gets a good set. You get a good set. Now I get high hands. And this is where they do the hand-to-hand -hand combat. It's me and you, hand-to-hand -hand combat. You're in a good position. They teach something called side scissors especially yep. when I got a two-way go I can go inside or outside which you'll see on videotape and it's a side scissors I'm swiping by and then I accelerate accelerate once again to where the launch point of the quarterback yeah what people have to understand is an edge rusher like Chase Young for example he changes our quarterback see the game we are trained to look downfield when you have an elite edge rusher you know where he's at. You, you're aware <laughs> of which side of the ball he's yep, on. Absolutely. And you might even drop back and, and try to shy away from him just to create more space in the pocket. Yeah. All right, quick review. You beat him, 90-degree turn to the quarterback. Low hands, bull rush. High hands, side scissors. Now the cardinal rule of all pass radiation is once I get, he's doing a good job. Once again, the launch points here. Brady's at the offense tackle is in good position. I cannot run by the quarterback. I have yeah. to have a counter, and that's when you see some of these elite athletes put a spin move yeah. and get to the uh, get to the launch point All of the right, quarterback. So that's how the pass rushers get there. If you're Wisconsin, you've got some options to try and limit a guy like Chase Young. So what's what's option number one? Option number one is so Brady is the offense tackle. I'm Chase Young. Let's be the tight end. Let's be the tight end, Reg. Yeah. So it's a body position, and and he can chip his way out, but he's just in position yeah. that the. Chase Young done get a running start right, right. at Brady Quinn. Yeah. So number one is body position, put a tight end, offset mm -hmm. fullback. Tailback number two, Reggie. And the other way that you can offset it as well is with the tailback and chip blocking. So look for Jonathan Taylor and Groshek to chip block Chase Young all day. And what that means is the running back straddles the tackle. And as soon as that ball is hiked, I'm taking off full speed and I'm launching into Chase Young's ribs. We call that barbecue chicken right there. And that's the same. That's the same 
saying we, we had to defend Robert Mathis, Dwight Freeney in the Super Bowl. Yeah. So body position, chip, and then the third thing, Specific Brady. Specific to today's game, especially with Wisconsin's offense, a lot of people think when you got a, an edge rusher like that, you want to run away from him. No, 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 no. Run right at him. Use two guys, double yeah. team him, take him to that second level into the linebackers. Don't climb off him. Cover him up and be on the offensive. Yeah. Yeah. Let, let's review one more time. This is for the viewers. This is going to be a big part of the game. First of all, stay out of third lawn and second lawn. You yeah. let Chase Young tee off on you all day. Wisconsin's going to lose maybe by a bunch. But always remember, the first thing you look for an elite athlete or elite pass rusher, if I beat him, can he flip his hips mm -hmm. and turn? Second, low hands, bull rush, high hands, side scissors, and always have a counter. Yep. Yeah. We know there's some NFL GMs at this game today. You know where those eyeballs are, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Where's Chase, Chase Young? <laughs> They're going to be all over the field today, everywhere. Yeah. Hey, same thing Cone's eyes are going to be. Where's Chase Young? <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoy that clip, make sure you click subscribe somewhere down here. From game highlights to exclusive interviews and rankings, we've got everything you need as a college football fan right here, College Football on Fox.